Medical professionals are still evaluating why a handful of people in the United States develop blood clots after receiving the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccination. News 19's Emily Corral with our vaccine team talked with a physician today to learn more. So next year, if we do it again, I'll probably just go with Moderna. Crystal Snow received the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine a month ago, and although she experienced flu-like symptoms, she never experienced the serious blood clotting doctors are looking into and a few patients who received the same shot. Natasha River says although she had side effects, she doesn't regret getting the J&J shot at all. Every shot is kind of a risk, even if you get Moderna or Pfizer. I do feel strong about still getting the shot. Because it's so rare and so complicated, you can figure out that it's probably is indeed related to the vaccine. Dr. Helmut Albrecht is an infectious disease doctor at Prisma Health and says what's happening in these select few patients is a complicated medical condition. We all need blood clotting, right? When you cut yourself, you want that blood to clot. You don't want to bleed out. On the other hand, you don't want your blood to clot inside your blood vessel. So we have a very complicated machinery that's designed to clot blood only when you need it. Professionals are calling the condition vaccine-induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia, or VITT. It is unusual blood clotting combined with a lower number of blood clotting cells called platelets. Something triggers your immune system. It generates antibodies, which everybody has now heard of from vaccines. But this one is not against the virus, but it's against a part of these platelets, against the so-called platelet factor 4. And when you make these antibodies, you lose your platelets and the numbers go dangerously low, which results in bleeding and then in paradoxical also blood clotting. Dr. Albrecht says this can happen with cancer drugs, HIV and COVID-19 itself. It looks like the vaccines that use a virus in them to deliver the vaccine into the cell, that can happen. They both use an adenovirus to get the vaccine into the cell. It's important to know that the mRNA vaccine Scenes like Pfizer and Moderna do not have a virus in them and they cannot trigger this. Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci said in an interview Sunday that he'd be surprised if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine didn't resume in some form this week. Everyone still needs to be vaccinated and it's again not getting vaccinated puts your risk for these kind of clots way way higher because you may get COVID that causes this than the vaccine and there are vaccines that clearly are not, can't do this, such as Moderna and Pfizer. I'm Emily Carell, News 19 WLTX. More than 6.8 million people have received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the United States. Nationwide, half of all adults in the U.S. have received at least one COVID-19 shot. That's according to the